answers and some closure in a gruesome murder mystery that's gripped the Milwaukee area for more than a week now. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Jessa Bryce Beck. And I'm Amanda Porterfield. This morning, Maxwell Anderson was charged with murdering and dismembering 19-year-old Sade Robinson. The charges link two stories we've been covering for more than a week. The missing woman, Robinson, and body parts discovered in several locations throughout the city and county. Prosecutors now say at least two of those body parts are Sade Robinson's, and officers are looking for more of them. We have team coverage for you tonight of this breaking news. CBS 58's Taj Mahal and Bryant McRae will have details on the investigation, but we start with Adam Reif live from Anderson's South Side home, breaking down the new information tonight. Adam. And this home is where prosecutors say Maxwell Anderson killed Sade Robinson after the two went on a date last Monday. A few blocks away is where Anderson was taken into custody a few days later. In moments, you will see new video of that arrest in progress. Now, this case is bringing into light the story that has simmered in the shadows for days. While a concerned family was looking for a missing woman, body parts were turning up all across the city of Milwaukee. And now, we have more information on why. Sick son of a bitch. Hurt my baby. Sheena Scarborough did not hold back. Sick son of a bitch. Wanna pay. Her hatred for Maxwell Anderson was evident from the moment her daughter's alleged killer walked into the courtroom. Prosecutors say Anderson and Sade Robinson went out to two restaurants and bars the night of April 1st, then returned to Anderson's home on South 39th Street. They say at some point that night, Anderson killed Robinson, dismembered her body, then drove her car around while he scattered the body parts in various places. The allegations in the complaint are abhorrent. Um, it is the highest level of violence imaginable. Anderson also did Sade's car and lit it on fire. He spoke just once during Friday's hearing. Do you understand the maximum potential penalties? Yes, Your Honor. Anderson's attorney first tried to get the homicide charge thrown out. And there's nothing in here that says that she died at Mr. Anderson's home. Sade's mother again lashed out. So I'd ask you to dismiss that count before we address Sh Anderson's attorney then alluded to Anderson being innocent. Had Mr. Anderson been involved in this, this horrible tragedy, we would expect one to flee. But bail was ultimately set at $5 million. Sade's family had been searching for her ever since her disappearance. Authorities used phone records, surveillance video, and home security video to close in on Anderson. He was arrested Thursday, April 4th. Friday brought some answers for the family, but also more questions. What the do something like this to my beautiful baby? She hurt nobody. And little closure. Me and my family would never be okay. Imagine trying to bury your niece with nobody for the service. And prosecutors say there are still missing body parts as they continue to look for all the human remains from Sade Robinson. Maxwell Anderson will return to court one week from Monday. Live here in Milwaukee, Adam Rife, CBS 58 News. Such a tough story, Adam. Thank you. And we have been working to get answers to this story from law enforcement about this case for more than a week now. And today, after days of silence, we're finally hearing from the Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office and the Milwaukee Police Department. CBS 58's Taj Mahal joins us live in studio with more on the investigation. Tajma? Amanda Jessup, a joint press conference was held this morning. The Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office and Milwaukee Police, along with assistance from several other agencies, worked closely to connect the dots on this investigation, starting with the discovery of the severed leg at Warnemont Park. And so uh, the leg was amputated from the uh, around the hip down. As a result, the leg appeared to be that of an African-American female. Subsequently, a Milwaukee police officer who was aware of our investigation raised the possibility that the leg may be related to a missing person investigation that they were conducting. The missing person was 19 year old Shade Robinson and we now know the leg discovered belonged to her. During a news and conference, Sheriff Danita Ball and Milwaukee Police Chief Jeffrey Norman confirmed many of the details listed in the criminal complaint against Maxwell Anderson, including a timeline of how the investigation began. On Wednesday, April the 4th, our investigation led 
to a person of interest, Maxwell Stephen Anderson. After the severed leg was recovered, Milwaukee police discovered Shade Robinson's car had been set on fire. The arson investigation led police to the discovery of other human remains found in Milwaukee. Video surveillance recovered from the arson investigation led investigators to search the area of 3000 West Galena Street. On Friday, April 5th, investigators located human remains in the area. Officials say the remains found at multiple locations in Milwaukee are still being processed for official identification, although Sheriff Ball says they do not believe multiple victims are involved. Sheriff Ball also told me that search efforts in this investigation are not over. Are you still searching for remains for Ms. Robinson? Yes, we are. And Sheriff Ball says right now they do not know where those remains might be. I also asked her about the reports of a sex dungeon found inside Anderson's home. Ball declined to provide any further details on that or anything else found during the search of his home. There are still many questions here, among them where Robinson was killed and how.